Welcome back to Hannity. So Hillary Clinton, she's trying to spin the reason for her sky-high unfavorable ratings. Now, she claims it has nothing to do with her many ongoing scandals. Take a look. 52% of the American people who participated in our CBS News poll have an unfavorable opinion of you. That is the highest negative impression of anyone ever nominated by the Democratic Party since we started asking that question in 1984. Do you bear any responsibility for that? Oh, I'm sure I do, but I think... Uh when I was Secretary of State and serving our country, I had an approval rating of 66%. And I think it's fair to ask, well, what's happened? And what's happened is tens of millions of dollars of uh, negative advertising and coverage that has uh, been sent my way. All right, here with Reaction, Fox News legal analyst Peter Johnson Jr., Washington Examiner contributor Lisa Booth and Fox News contributor Leslie Marshall. All right, uh, Peter, let's put up on the screen the new Fox News, poll, news sure. polls. We talked about it earlier. All right, is Hillary lying about the emails and how they were handled? 60%, yes. All right, did she put U.S. security at risk with classified emails? Well, we learned today that, in fact, that CIA agents in the field, their names may have been compromised through this. That means their lives would be would be put in jeopardy. If you have numbers that high and she's making the claim no big deal, is she playing a game or does she maybe know something that we don't know? I don't know it. I mean, she knows uh, how to deceive pretty well and probably not as well as, 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 as a lot of folks do. I mean, this is about polling uh, negative uh, ratings and this is about bad commercials somehow. When you have a history of engaging in conduct like this, and over a couple of years, people begin to understand it. When you have a server that's a homebrew server that is susceptible to Russian intelligence and Chinese intelligence, um, when you engage in conduct like that, when you engage in all the conduct that we've read about, mm -hmm. then people are smart. Americans are smart. They understand that there's an honesty, a trustworthiness, a credibility issue, and that impacts things in a huge way. I, huge. Lisa, I'm a little torn because I, I do agree with Newt Gingrich when he says Donald Trump is at his best when he goes big. He's talking about giving a speech which would rehash a lot of the Clinton scandals on Monday. Should he really be comparing and contrasting the visions for America? And also, I would, I would certainly dip into the fact that she has an honesty and trustworthy issue as a problem. But what's the best campaign strategy is what I'm asking. Well, I think comparing contrasting is important, but I do think it's important to bring up this email, uh, her private email server and private email scandal, because it does have an impact with voters. As you mentioned, 60 percent think that she did something wrong when it comes to the private email and private server. And look, she, she keeps trying to chalk this up to negative ad advertising, somehow some sort of Republican witch hunt. Guess what? She's being investigated by the FBI. We also know that she has already done something wrong. The State Department's IG report says that she broke State Very Department clear. rules and will soon know if she broke broke the law from the FBI. Further, the Associated Press and the New York Times are the ones who broke this story in the first place. You know, the IG report was very clear when, you know, senior department officials were not asked to approve a private email server. She, she told a lie about that, according to the IG report. Lie number two is, you know, she said the staff had to shut down her server temporarily because of hacking attempts. She lied and said there was never an attempt to do that. That's a contradiction. Uh, also, if you look, call 125,000 crimes in an eight-year period in Texas committed by illegal immigrants, including rape and murder. Fact. Issue number two, he never said a ban of all Muslims. He, Muslims. he said a temporary ban on Muslim immigrants because the FBI director, assistant FBI director, the chairman of Homeland Security, the former special envoy to defeat ISIS, and our national director of intelligence all said ISIS will implement infiltrate the refugee population like they did Peter in Belgium and in Paris. That's the fact. That is a more accurate description. Has there ever been a candidate no. that stands there Peter, and, and, we're, we're, and mocks we're the engage, judge we're for gonna, his, We're going to engage in, 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 in straw person arguments. The issue that we're talking about at this point is that Hillary Clinton could potentially but for the president's intervention, face an indictment with regard to her conduct. There has been no explanation as to why, apart from criminal conduct, you would have such bad judgment that a secretary of state, maybe the second most powerful official in the United States, that you would open yourself 
up to the world, that you would put your own personal interests above yours and yours and yours, Sean, and mine and our families. That's what Hillary Clinton did. So you don't trust, you don't trust the FBI well, to investigate Gates, this bill. I trust the FBI. Do you trust the FBI? Let them do their the job. Wait, 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 quick, wait, quick. Defense Secretary Gates also said that it is highly likely, likely that Russia, Iran, China, all was oh, able to hack into Hillary Clinton. Well, then the FBI will come down with put an indictment of Hillary That is true. Well, they may recommend, they may put forth a criminal referral. What will the, the Department of Justice do? What will Loretta Lynch do at that point? I, think I got a break. I think she would follow it. All right, coming up next tonight.